you know, I just want women to know that we are still here and we will continue to be here. And you have a place to go. You have someone you can call. In the beginning, we had a few calls where are you guys still open? Are you, or are you closed? Yes, we're still open. And then even a couple of weeks ago, we had a call like, are you guys safe? Is it safe there for me to come? Yes, we're, it's safe and it's secure. On est disponible. Uh, Puis qu'on est très, on est sécuritaire au niveau des, du bâtiment physique, mais on est aussi sécuritaire au niveau de la COVID. Tu sais, C'est quelque chose que les gens, il uh, y a beaucoup de peur autour de ça. Uh, nous, il n'y a pas eu beaucoup de cas dans notre région, vraiment pas. Uh, even though there is the issue of the pandemic that affects people's health, all precautions are taken and it's better to get to go to a safe facility, particularly if your or your children's lives are in danger. Even if she's not ready to leave yet, talk to a worker, talk to an outreach worker and ask questions, you know, ask about what would we offer if she do come into the transition house or, you know, or any shelter. I think giving, knowing her options, right, is so important. You know, you really don't have to be identifying as currently experiencing violence to connect with our service. Um, and that's the message we want to get out there. We, we want to get to know folks. We're proud of our space. Plus que jamais que les maisons d'hébergement existent et qu'on on est en train de s'adapter pour pouvoir soutenir ces femmes-là, puis de répéter, répéter le message, vous n'êtes pas seul. Même si vous êtes isolé à la maison, vous n'êtes pas seul. There is support out there. There are people out there that will believe you and will listen to you, and you deserve to be supported and heard. So please reach out. We don't shut down because the world around us is shutting down. We're always here to help. So whatever kind of support you need, reach out to us. Uh, we hope to get the message to so many women in so many different languages that help is out there and to not stay in an abusive relationship. And I think that for a lot of people, some of the reasons why they stay is that they, they don't want to have to bear the shame in their communities about what's happening to them and it isn't their shame. And if we as community support them and help them understand that this is not their shame and that you know they deserve to be treated better and they deserve to have a, a life without violence, then that's huge.